Natural agriculture on every table. There are a plethora of quality restaurants and cafes in Los Angeles, California. Among them, Chaya Downtown is one of the highest quality restaurants. We would like to introduce their executive chef, Joji Inoue. For over 22 years, Joji has been focusing his career as a Franco-Japanese chef. Instantly amazed with his very first taste, Joji proudly admires the quality and life energy he feels from his recent introduction to natural agriculture foods. I have made an entire course using shumei vegetables. At that time, what really surprised me was a turnip mousse I made. When I was boiling the turnips in water, I had tried some and was amazed at how good it tasted. I want people to be deeply impressed by food. However, that's something I can't do all by myself. It starts with the vegetables, meat, and wine I get from producers. I have what I like to call shining dishes. When people eat them, I believe the dishes leave a great impression. What is natural agriculture? Natural agriculture was developed by Mokichi Okada in the 1920s in Japan. It is a sustainable farming method which uses no additives of any kind, including chemical fertilizers, pesticides, nor animal manure. It is beyond organic and has a spiritual essence infused into growing food with love and care. The natural agriculture principles were introduced into the United States in 1992, and its movement has been slowly growing with small-scale farmers and home gardeners. In 2009, Shumei America's national director, Eugene Imai, had a life-changing event. He had an illness which made his large intestine stop working for many days. He recovered by an alternative natural healing method in conjunction with a healthy natural food diet. After Eugene's recovery, he realized his life's mission. I decided to eat pure and healthy food as much as possible for the rest of my life. I began to think about the best way for everybody in the world to eat pure and healthy food. And the vision came to me, natural agriculture on every table. Our first step was to find a trusted rice farmer. We found Scott Park in Sacramento, California. Yeah, we've been growing Akita for four years, Akita Kamachi, and we've been growing jasmine. This is the second year. The seed has been saved from years past, and uh, it's it, so far we're, we're very happy with uh, saving the seed. We're having good success. Our yields actually are, are amazing in that our yields are as good as conventional farming. So the yields are going past regular organic farming. So it's very rewarding for park farming. We are very uh, thankful that, that the sun and the earth and the water was able to produce a crop that, that could make people feel better. There is that spiritual level that farming doesn't give credit, credit to. Uh, that maybe, you know, by not using the fertilizers, we are having a, a more pure product and in the positive atmosphere gets gets passed on to to the plants and the growth of the plants and so I, I think it's a combination of, of what Shume puts its values in it puts its values in saving the seed which we're doing it puts its value in the spiritual connection of the farmers and that's certainly true on our part our next step was to find a trusted wheat farmer and we found Bernie Ines in Alberta, Canada. Each year that I, you know, that I was farming natural agriculture, and the, um, you know, the, um, without the use of inputs and anything else, it was working very well for us. Uh, you know, we're producing a nice, healthy crop, and uh, for, you know, for the, the consumer. Well, the emmer uh, dates back seven to nine thousand years and it has a very unique taste to it. 
and you know all the different baking that people are using with it, and especially with the pasta, um, it's got it just goes so well with you know how the chefs are putting it together. Right now, I'm making an emmer wheat pasta. These seeds are the ancestor of wheat, and their story begins from ancient times. When you eat emmer, it has a distinct, naturally wild flavor, and I'm glad to be able to offer a dish on my menu that uses this ancient wheat. Um, over the last few years, I've been getting Christmas cards from Shumei, um, and the responses in the re in the Christmas cards were so heartfelt. Yes, uh, for example, my baby has gluten allergy and have avoided wheat for a long time, but I can eat yours without his skin reacting. I really appreciate to you making such a wonderful wheat. After um, the loss of both of my brothers and, um, the, and of course my accident with the loss of my arm, you know, you had to really kind of relook and rethink things and of course, you know, it was uh, a purpose, you know, to be here and, uh, you know, of course I, I love farming. Obviously I'm, I'm here for a special purpose and hopefully that purpose is putting uh, natural good food on the table for everybody. With our natural agriculture wheat, we planned to make pasta. We found Svoglini, which is one of the finest organic pasta makers in Brooklyn, New York. Through Svoglini, we found a miller by the name of Don Lewis. Don Lewis is not only a grain miller, but he is also a great communicator between organic farmers and consumers. He has been making contributions for many years to create his projects of wholesome community in many locations. Our milling uh, uh, procedures um, are very basic stone milling operation. We're working with growers that are growing mostly organic grains, but organic protocol. And um, it's really important to me to, to produce a product that's raised in the region, processed in the region, and made available to consumers throughout the region. The result of that really fortifies um, wholesome communities around us. The spiritual essence of Shumei Natural Agriculture goes to a special level in that all the components have some spirituality in them. The soil that he works with has its own spirit and the light has spirit and the, the microorganisms in the soil have the spirit. And this is like a, a tremendous uh, team of spirituality that comes together. And natural agriculture, I feel, with its spirituality and its simplic simplicity and um, of food, I feel that it has standing away from the others and has taken a new position or is in the process of taking a new position um, that I feel could very well be the part of the future. Our next step was soybeans. Don Lewis introduced natural agriculture to Harold Wilkin in Danforth, Illinois. In 2015, I was introduced to Shumay through Don Lewis from New York. And um, they, um, they were looking for um, high quality soybeans that would fit um, their natural agriculture program. Soil um, is connected to me as a farmer and then to the consumer. And so the soybeans do well. People like the soybeans and they're healthy for them. So it's a circle, it's a connection uh, between the soil and the farmer and the land in the consumer. Yes, the name of our farm is Janie's Farm. Um, we chose that name because in 2001, our oldest daughter Janie passed in a car accident and she was 15 years old. 
she had been working and is still working on the other side helping us. In, uh, in early July of 2008, I was diagnosed with stage 4 plus uh, tonsil cancer. The cancer was caused by what I was doing conventionally. I knew organic farming was a mission of mine. I became um, involved in Shumay Natural Agriculture. I, I love the, um, the purity, the, the, I could feel the healthy spirit. In 2015, the first natural agriculture soybeans were harvested. From then on, we started making various products, such as tofu, miso, soy sauce, tempeh, and natto. People were overjoyed with the taste and energy of these products. We requested Harold to grow corn for us. Uh, last year we uh, were able to uh, try a variety of open pollinated corn. Um, it was called Rebellion. So we live in an area where it's 99.9% .9 conventional farmers with GMO crops. And by planting this corn, Rebellion, uh, we were able to keep from having cross-pollination from other GMO varieties in the area. Within a few years, we were able to achieve the goal of making four main grains by using the natural agriculture method. It was a miracle. Included in this miracle, we have succeeded with natural agriculture wine in Northern California produced by Remy and Zubeda. And I found out when, that when I stopped, I quit my job um, at Microsoft and moved full time to the farm, I felt so much more at peace with myself and uh, be able to, to be with my family and work 100% on the farm, I found that so much more enriching. I, 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 don't, I really don't want to go back to that, to that kind of life, really. It's a beautiful, it's a beautiful grape and it's actually easier to make grape natural wine from, from Petit Syrah than from other grapes because the, all the tannins, all the colors, all the antioxidants also preserve the wine and the wine doesn't get, doesn't get spoiled as, more, as easily as other, with other kind of grapes. So we don't have to, to use any chemicals or any, anything special just to make a beautiful wine. It's, it's really nice, it's really good. I think, I think our goal is to, to teach our kids and to show our other people how to take care of the most basic needs of humans. And for us, one of the most basic needs is growing food. How to grow food that, that's full of life, that's going to sustain us, sustain the kids and sustain other, other people, as well as sustain the planet, not destroy the planet. Uh, so our, our, our goal is really to grow food that's vibrant, that people love, and when they eat it or when they drink the wine, it brings a smile to the, to the face of the people. We held the Green Life Food Festival in 2017. We invited the founder of the Hudson Valley Seed Library, Ken Green, as a guest speaker, who was also introduced by Don Lewis. Ken spoke of the importance of saving seeds. Saving seeds is one of natural agriculture's key principles. Saving seeds has been part of what we do as humans for thousands and thousands of years. And it's something that many of us have forgotten. It's not part of our daily lives. And I really want to be part of helping people renew that relationship to seeds and to really connect with seeds and what they mean culturally as well as agriculturally. And I hope that you know, part of what we're doing together is really enriching all of our lives um, through understanding how important it is to know how to save seeds and how much seeds 
touch our lives in so many different ways. The natural agriculture movement is steadily growing and making a significant impact to those who can see and feel the importance of the life-changing effects which natural foods bring to the mind, body, and soul connections. Here are just a few heartfelt words from individuals whose lives have been greatly inspired by natural agriculture. I would like to see the natural agriculture movement develop further. Right now, it's only being enjoyed by a small portion of people, but I want to use ingredients more myself and want more people to be able to enjoy them. So our attitude is we're, we're completely with the Shume concept and, and, and our goal is to produce the best quality and also a good yield to, to, so that we can afford to grow it, you can afford to buy it. I would like to see natural agriculture uh, grow as it has for me and for the health of other people. I, for me, it goes back to um, peace. In peace with yourself, in peace with the earth, peace with the others, and happiness. It brings me a peace and joy to be a part of something that is good and gracious. Once Shumei Natural Agriculture uh, comes to fruition here in the United States, I believe that it will go to a global level. And the more love we can put out into the world through sharing seeds, the more we can make changes, make the world a better place, both for the natural environment and for people. Our vision is to inspire all people to create a healthy and happy world. Through the principle of natural agriculture, this vision can be achieved.